Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch a Movie. I am Mike, and last night they announced that yet another one of these public domain movies is going to be releasing, probably as a Fathom event, probably wide in movie theaters, like the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey one. It was a Fathom event, even though it should have been direct to DVD bargain bin that you probably could have watched for free on Tubi in six months. But nevertheless, they made a lot of money off of it, and when that happened, we knew it was going to keep on coming. So today, we're going to take a look at this Mickey's Mousetrap trailer that came out. We're going to talk about this entire new awful, awful trend and why it's a bad thing, in my opinion, for horror. And uh, we're also going to have a good time. We're going to break down that trailer and all this stuff like that. And the reason this happens is, if you don't know, these movies, this, these rights, they have a public domain and they have so many years that eventually, at some point, for whatever reason, they become public domain and anybody can use them. And that's why you have so many movies like the Amityville Elevator from Hell and, and Amityville Sex in Space or like whatever titles there are. When the title enters public domain, it means anybody can use that to make a movie. And I mean anybody. Even the dude who works at the local chop shop and smokes meth for breakfast can make a, a movie. And if it's an interesting enough title using that, you've got a situation like this. All these stories, deadline, everybody runs with them. It's a hot topic because it's, oh my God, a Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Oh my God, a Mickey, Mickey Mouse horror movie. It's so crazy. It's provocative. It gets the people going. And the next thing you know, it's actually successful. And I think that's a really, really bad thing. And I hate to be such a poo-poo artist, but here I am, the poo-poo artist. As now we're getting a Bambi movie. We're getting a Peter Pan movie. They Even the lettering on these, you know, look like they were done at the Dollar Tree in the parking lot, trash can outside. But that's what we're going to get. And now the newest one as Mickey Mouse has been entered into the public rights domain. And it's not exactly Mickey Mouse, which we'll talk about. Now, the day of, I mean, the day, they've already got the trailer made for it. We've got a movie called Mickey's Mousetrap, which was just announced today with a trailer that we're going to look at. We have Steamboat Willie, which is another movie that's going to come out that we had our, our, our have our first look at, which we'll talk about. And there's even a video game that's coming out. Now, that one I don't really care about. It's kind of a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff looking thing, which is like this jump scare, Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse lookalike character that pops out. Video games, whatever. You know, I mean, that just makes sense to me. The problem I have is with these horror movies, and that's the ones that we're going to talk about today. And the reason I have a problem with it is because it just gives horror movies a bad name for years. Even movies like Silence of the Lambs, they wouldn't call an Oscar winning film. They wouldn't call it a horror film. They say, no, it's a drama because when people think about horror movies, their mind would go directly to the nastiest, grossest, cheapest, shitty slasher flicks. Now, I'm not saying all slasher flicks are shitty. Obviously, you know us, you know me, we love them. But people's mind horror was always like this, this disgusting little thing to put in the corner. And we've come so far from that with all these great original horror movies. They're right up there with superhero movies as far as the most successful movies that are coming out. The only difference is we're getting original work with horror right now. It's doing so good and it's come so far. And now with these movies coming out, and they're not full-on Hollywood productions. They're made with, you know, the budgets of barely above fan films. I mean, some fan films, look at what Womp Stomp does and all these people does, look way better than these movies in the way that they look in their trailers and whatnot. But that's not a knock on fan films. Fan films are for free on the internet. They're not charging you even higher ticket prices to go see them at Fathom events and shit like that. You might say, hey Mike, low budget trashy horror films have always existed and they've always had their fun place in the world. And I would completely and totally agree with that. The difference between that and this is these people are doing this to turn a quick buck. Why do you think the day that the rights went out, they already had a trailer ready to go? They're doing this to turn a quick buck and this is not like your low budget, like, oh, look at this dumbass Amityville horror movie or look at this dumbass movie over here. Let's watch it while we get drunk. It's on Tubi or whatever. These are getting major headlines. They're, it's all over the news today, everywhere. When these Hollywood studios get wind that, oh my God, we can make a movie for $8 and a fucking pickle, you're going to get a lot of these and they're going to start coming from the movie studios the next thing you know. And I want to say also, there's people who are working on these films, the actors, the crew, whatever, who this is just the job that they could get at the moment. And to that, I completely respect. This is no shade towards anybody working on the films in those capacities. You do your fucking thing. Who I'm talking about today is the fucking grifters that that are using this to, to flip it, give you a, a shitty $2 product, sell it for five, and then with the promise that they can make a, their own whole cinematic universe and make even more money out of it. So uh, I think it's I think it's kind of a grift. I think it's cheap, and I think it's bad for horror. And with that being said, let's take a look. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's look at the trailer. And isn't it crazy that the person who's done this is like their head, their name's in the headline of all these major titles on all the major trades? Imagine like being a serious filmmaker and like putting all your work in and 
everybody just runs past your 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 little movie uh, to to be like, oh my god, Mickey Mouse is cutting people's heads off. That's got to be fucking frustrating. These are the best party that we can throw. <laughs> I've seen some rejections in my time, but man, that was a lot. The sound audio is so bad that you can't, for all the balls and shit falling around everywhere, you can't even barely make out what people are saying because the mix is so awful. And of course it starts out with, this is going to be the greatest party of our lives. I can't believe we're going to your dad's cabin and we've got lots of weed and beer, bro. I love titties. God damn it. <laughs> blood all over the jungle gym blood and that 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 terrible rip off like sr71 like yes oh look it's a horror movie in an arcade Quick point out right here as we see that Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie poster, there's a chance that this doesn't even get off the ground because here's the right situation with Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is not public domain. Steamboat Willie is. And Steamboat Willie is the first animated feature that Mickey Mouse appeared in. That version of Mickey Mouse is public domain. In this, it's directly referencing Mickey Mouse, and it's got him on the poster. I'm not even sure how that works. I wouldn't be 100% surprised to see this get shut down before it even gets off the ground. Yeah, he's like completely in love with me already. It's totally disgusting. Put the phone down! Put the phone down, please! I was like, dude. Do you guys hear that audio? Like, it sounds like it was filmed inside of a fucking potato. I'm already stuck. Yo, Gina, turn around, please, Gina! And there it is. It's Mickey Mouse. It's the Mickey Mouse hat, and the guy has a fucking hockey jersey on. It's literally the Dark Knight. What's the difference between me and you? I'm not wearing hockey pads. I'll be right back. <laughs> and he's dead. What? Like if he was in a horror movie, you'd never say, I'll be right back. Because then you don't. Did you just evoke the name of fucking Scream on top of it? A direct ripoff of it. Is it even an homage? Just ripping off the direct lines and not even saying them or doing them right. Like if he was in a horror movie, you'd never say, I'll be right back. Because then you don't. If you was in a horror movie, you never say, I'll be right back. Because you don't. It doesn't, the words don't even make sense in fucking sentences. Not only is it not the correct quote, but you're not even speaking English right. God damn it. I will say that the mask, the head, the head part does look cool if, if it wasn't, but we're like, all right, the head's good. Let's sit it on a Kevin Smith in a hockey jersey. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> oh, so you know, you notice there's not many scenes where you actually see him interacting with someone in a fight scene or a chase scene. It's just a quick, he runs up and then the camera cuts out because when he gets there, the choreography looks like such fucking ass juice that it that they couldn't even show it in the trailer. Uh, you know, like I would never shit on a movie like this if this was just uh, an original movie that someone was making to try to make a slasher movie or whatever like that. Would never, ever do it. But this fad is the worst thing for horror ever. And they are putting this out there and they know how big it's going to get and they know how much money they're going to make off of it and they know they can do it with minimal effort and again once this takes off we said it with Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey it was funny for like five seconds now it's going to actually become a problem and it's going to be something you're going to see over and over and over again and again studios are going to take note of that and we're going to get more of this shit and if someone could just hey for a quick buck we can get famous like that get our names out there like that get a movie out there we just have to be the first. Doesn't matter the talent, doesn't matter the care, the effort, the love. We just have to be first. And that trailer would have that that's a trailer that I get an email about 17 times a day with other indie movies who are trying to do original projects, who are trying to get their names out there. And it's the it's you once you the second you click on the trailer, you go, "Oh, that's the that budget's that budget." So and that's exactly what that is. You saw it from the second it came on. Uh, they don't they don't have the money or the means to make a uh, uh, a movie that should be getting this much attention. But wait, there's more. Um, Steamboat Willie is coming out and has been announced. Now this one, 
is from Stephen Lamorte, who directed last year's The Mean One, which is the one where they took the Grinch and made it a low-budget Grinch slasher movie and um, put it in in theaters. Yeah, they put that shit in theaters. Um, and, of course, this person is coming back, and they're going to take advantage of this, too, and they're gonna, it's going to be called Steamboat Willie. So Steamboat Willie has bought, brought joy to generations, but beneath that cheerful exterior lies a potential for pure, unhinged terror, Lamort said. It's a project I've been dreaming of, and I can't wait to unleash this twisted take on this beloved character to the world. It all comes from our love of these characters. Filmmakers, we're all kids in the sandbox. We love taking them and playing with them in different ways. It's not a desire to ruin these characters or make a quick buck, but to love them and honor them and show them in a new light. Yeah, in your bra. Your Honor, I object. You would. If I die, please don't put my fucking caricature in one of these $12 fucking horror movies. Can you guys do me a favor with that? Please, if I die, do not take my IP. If I, if I have a fucking AI hologram, do not put me in people's shit fuck horror movies. Pretty sure that Walt Disney himself is not rolling around in his grave right now with excitement. Yeah. They're taking this character and it's not even about it being in a horror movie. That would be cool. Put me in a horror movie. Just don't put me in these fucking horror movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. If the fact that you have to be like, it's not a cash grab. It's not. I swear. I swear, 89, it's not a cash grab. It's a fucking con, man. It's, 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 it's a cheapskate way to get, to get noticed. That's just, that's what I feel about it. I, I, th I don't think it's good for anything. And th those are my feelings on it. The game, whatever. But if you want horror to turn into this Dead by Daylight, Fortnite, all that matters is the skin on the character and just plug and play them in a different movies. Uh, if that's cool with you, cool coolio uh, i feel like most people don't feel that way i think that these are fun stories to share and go oh my god dude did you see the new mickey mouse movie uh and i get that but it's they see money and that's once they see money this is all we're gonna fucking see for a while it's gonna keep on coming and the hits keep on coming but let me know what you guys think about it all i, I want to know your opinions on it how you feel about it i love your all's fucking faces and i hope we get more slasher movies till the cows come home just try to make good ones when people think of you and your favorite genre like steve loves horror movie do you really want them to to pair you and what you love with this or would you rather be with you know your actual favorite good horror movies that are out there that aren't just jokes that are come and go like soft farts in the night comment down below let me know how do you guys feel about it we'll see you guys tonight at eight o'clock we love your fucking faces we'll see you soon here comes that white face fucker an asshole like no other he's a big old piece of shit wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white face fucker loomis can't recover dr challenge drunk again sleeping with your sister's friends do you want to know about the darkness i said god Halloween never ends, suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating, let's go fucking drinking, let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS. 